So I'm out of the treehouse and I'm in what can only be described as probably the poshest marquee on site. I don't even know this place existed until about three minutes ago. But there's a reason why I'm here and it's James Dean Bradfield and I couldn't think of a better reason. How are you? Howdy Judy. Good to see you, man. Get this out of here. What is that, Cardiff Blues? What is that? Oh, that's a real bad start to the interview. <laughs> you want to give yeah, me my right. club hat back? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I might have rooted for you in the Rugby World Cup if we reach the final now. <laughs> you know what? I promised my producer we wouldn't talk about rugby, otherwise we'll be here all right, then, night. All right, then, cool. Gotcha. Um, fantastic show, man, on the, on the Pyramid stage, and you're back there again, and, and you've got such a rich history with Glastonbury, and uh, it must be good to be back on site, albeit briefly, you know? It is, yeah, because kind of like it's... It's always a surprise, Glastonbury. You know, we've had, like you said, perhaps what you might call a checkered history. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, not in terms of performance, because every time you go on there, you know, you perform really well. But in just it's just Nikki's PR momentum <laughs> has been somewhat uh, interesting along the well, way. Well, you know, I kind of like. I think we were all guilty at the start of yeah. being kind of perhaps too nihilistic for our own goods. Oh no, that's what made you at the beginning. You know, I know. You've grown old gracefully. But now we've kind of we've kind of learned the value kind of um, the feeling of being part of something, perhaps. Yeah. Although I, a bit too feel good? No, you know, because I'm going to change that, because I spoke to Nicky just just before uh, I, we, we went up and started work, and, and the first thing he said to me was, I can't wait to leave. <laughs> <laughs> he, has a, he has a very pressing family kind of matter at the moment. Yeah, so no, so. fair enough, fair enough. And, you know, you put everything into into your performance, and I love the way you came on to You Love Us, and it, it just felt like it was, it was the perfect way to start the show, wasn't it, you know? Yeah, it was, yeah. I mean, kind of like, um, I kind of, perhaps we're kind of rusty old rock dogs, but it kind of, that, re that seems like the only way to start the show, really, with You Love Us, you know. Mm, mm. It's just kind of my homage to Steve Jones from the Sex Pistols, really. Yeah, so yeah. that's the way it feels like we should do it. No, you put your whole heart and soul into it. And from that point forward, it was Home of the Hits. And that's the great thing about coming out and playing a show like this. Home is, of the Hits. You know, the, 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 the limited time frame that you have enables yeah. you to be able to dip into the back catalogue. And you can put some in for yourselves. But ultimately, you give people a great selection of your catalogue today. Yeah, no, I mean, kind of like, you know, Kind of like I can freely admit we we've never kind of been the kind of band that will go on stage and not play our hits. Mm. We've got a bit of a kind of a Springsteen-esque ethic to us. Well, I'd say that somebody else might no, say get out of here. But like we oh, do, okay. we've got a bit of a strong entertainment entertainment gene in our bodies, kind of thing. Yeah. Just I'll get the rugby back in, just like in rugby, but like throw it around a bit, you know. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, you know, let's okay, stay on rugby okay. for a second because I, I, no, I like the fact that you predestined my child to the number ten jersey as well, just due to his name. I did. Well, I you, 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 you told me the name of your son, like. Jackson Lowe. I mean, kind of like, he's not going to be a number one, he's not going to be a number two, he's not going to be a number eight, he's going to be a number ten. He's going to be playing for like for the All Blacks, you know, when he's eight years old. He's a number I'm ten. I'm about to start crying. He's going to be a, sh <laughs> he's going to be a glamour chasing show pony, and I meant that the best <laughs> way. Uh, you know what? I'm going to have to start uh, training him accordingly because he's quite shy right now, so I'll adjust the diet, make sure he gets out there and starts to enjoy life a little bit and gets ready. Just make sure you, you tell him I kind of like I predicted it. Don't worry, it's on camera right now for, for, cool. the, for the ages. Uh, Glastonbury is a festival, like you said before, you know, what you've said and how you play doesn't necessarily match, but, but ultimately it is an incredibly special festival. It's one of its kind. And, um, you know, what is it? I mean, I've been spending the last couple of days giving my reflections, but for you, what is it that's so special about this place? Um, I think it's kind of, I mean, kind of, you know, we've just come from Germany. We just did two festivals in Germany, one called Southside and one called Hurricane. And you're there and you're thinking, wow, this is great. You know, kind of like it, it really, you truly kind of like feel like, you know, festivals are on Europe are great. Mm. And then you get here and you realize that nothing else compares to it, you know. It's, it is kind of like, it's like the big spaceship at the end of Independence Day. It just dwarfs everything. It's, so it's almost like the soap opera of, of like, you know, what the music industry is or what festivals are. Yeah. You know, you just can't ignore it. It is a kind of, a kind of a colossus. Anyway, every time you come here, you just think, ah, yeah. This is why people love it. I'm glad you still feel the same way having been here quite a few times because you know I've seen quite a few bands who have been here for the first time and they and they arrive on site and then they get on stage, they see the flags, they see the smoke, they see the amount of people and it really does. Uh, to be honest, them. it scares a bejesus out here. It does, you know, I walked on stage today and it, it just scared me. And kind of, but when you feel scared, you know, the stakes are high, so it's yeah. kind of it's a good feeling, you know? Yeah, yeah, you know, and, and like I said, you didn't show any signs of nerves on stage tonight, um, irrespective of that, that you put in a great performance, and it's just great to see you back. Ah, oh, cheers, Annie. And I'll be seeing you uh, later on this year, no doubt. Yeah, 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 yeah. From the other yeah, side, of the, you play, from the other side of the You've got a group match in Cardiff, haven't you? Yeah, I'm going to be in Cardiff for the group match, yeah? Give me a call, down? I'll show you some good booze. Excellent, I look forward to it. Okay.